Good afternoon, everyone. This is Simon Volta, the Director of Sales here at V Technologies. Thank you for taking some time this afternoon to sit through one of our webinars that features Starship and QuickBooks. Today's uh, brief webinar, we're going to focus uh, our conversation around how we're going to help improve your e-commerce workflow. So we have, um, before we do get started, I do have a couple housekeeping tips to review. If you do have any questions, we will keep those uh, towards the end of the call. I will make sure we leave some time to answer as many questions as possible. So if you do have a question, just uh, please raise your hand, type in the question in the uh, question pane box, and I'll try to get to as many as I can before the call is over. Um, as well as everyone is gonna be muted throughout the presentation so we can get through all the information um, in this half hour. So moving um, forward, <clears throat> So I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about um, our uh, who we are as V Technologies. For those of you new to V Technologies, uh, for those of you using our Shipgear product, um, welcome and thank you for being a loyal customer on our Shipgear platform. Uh, I will also get into some of the main differences for those of you using Shipgear um, and how they compare to Starship and what you can potentially see in the new application. <clears throat> then I'll get into our workflow that you can see. Um, with e-commerce uh, and the two different workflows that we do offer currently. And then I'll talk a little bit about um, USPS and how we can save additional money by taking advantage of the discounted rates that Starship has to offer you as a customer. And then I'll get into our demo um, uh, at the end. So a little bit about us. Um, we've been around since 1987. Um, we have uh, Starship has been around since 1989, so about 28 years of experience focusing around the shipping industry uh, and shipping software. Uh, we have about a 15 plus year relationship with QuickBooks or the folks at Intuit. Uh, so we're one of their gold developers um, on this application. And then we have about 10,000 plus customers using Starship overall. Um, Starship does qualify for both subsidy programs that are offered between UPS and FedEx. So if you are uh, aware of those programs, please check um, your available funds uh, that each carrier can provide to you. If not, then please uh, reach out to me and let me know um, if you need more information on that in the future. So a little bit about Starship versus Shipgear. What, what are the main differences that are always asked? So really with um, Starship, what you can see here is um, it is a multi-mode, multi-carrier platform. So we do support both parcel as well as LTL um, in the application. It is a single platform. It doesn't require world ship. It does not require ship manager or a post office platform or any other carrier platform. We can put um, everything onto one platform for you. Um, we do support line items. So all the line items you see in QuickBooks that are in your sales order or sales invoice would be shown in the Starship application to allow you to pack those items uh, how you see fit. Whereas today with Shipgear, you're only bringing in header level information on who you're shipping to. Um, from a third party application, we do work with companies such as Fishbowl or um, Activate um, and where we can utilize their WMS platforms um, and as well as <clears throat> other solutions like the EDI is like True Commerce or SPS Commerce um, as well. Um, rate shopping is available um, in Starship where it's not in Shipgear. So we can put all of your negotiated rates that you have with your carriers into one um, single application and be able to show your negotiated rates and allow you to choose which one is the least expensive to ship with. We do support batch processing as well inside of Star Starship, um, where you can select multiple orders to process at one time. So especially for e-commerce type of shippers, um, if that's what you're doing today, especially with Amazon or eBay, um, those are definitely something that you may wanna take a look at moving forward. And then as well, Starship does support something called e-commerce extension, which today's demo is gonna illustrate on how that works and what that means. But basically what e extension is, is we're not only gonna update QuickBooks for you with your tracking and cost, but we're also gonna update your shopping cart or your marketplace with the appropriate tracking information um, at the same time. And then last but not least, we do support discounted rates that are offered through Starship that you could take advantage of comparing those to say your UPS or FedEx rates as well. So as I mentioned, we have a couple different workflows that we can offer for e-commerce shippers. Um, the first being our direct integration from the e-commerce to Starship. So we can pull your sales order information directly from your e-commerce marketplace or shopping cart and bring that into Starship. 
in this, in this situation, we're gonna bypass QuickBooks altogether. So nothing in this um, workflow would hit QuickBooks or be written back into QuickBooks. Today's demo is gonna focus on the second um, workflow that we have called an e-commerce extension. This at the time where we're gonna write back to QuickBooks your information, we're also gonna update your shopping cart as well. So that order is then marked to filled. Um, it shows the appropriate service um, that was used as well as the tracking information. This illustration here shows you the carts that we have out today and the marketplaces that are available. So anything above the line uh, in the middle here is available uh, for you to integrate with today. Anything below is currently in our QA uh, awaiting testing um, and a couple are in the development phases as well, but these will be available in the upcoming releases of Starship uh, here over the next several months. Um, so again, if these, any of these apply to you, these are the carts that we can work with or potentially can work with coming around in the near future, and more will be added as we get into 2019 as well. This is just a list of carriers uh, that we do have direct integrations to. So everything from parcel to LTL is on this list. So we have about a couple dozen, about 24 carriers total um, that we work with uh, from a direct integration standpoint. So if any of these apply in your workflow today, um, please reach out to us and let us know and we can talk further about the details and how we can integrate um, your shipping with that carrier. So one thing I do have on here is Visible Supply Chain and many of you may wonder who Visible Supply Chain is. Um, Visible is actually our partner. They're the ones who supply us the rates um, that are offered through the post office. So they would be, you would be utilizing their rate card. Um, they have over 25 years of supply chain management experience. Um, they are the experts when it comes to the post office. Um, they're, as I mentioned, they're our rate provider for V Technologies, but they also offer shipping profile analytics for those of you interested in taking a look of where post office might be a good fit um, in your environment. Um, they can do a thorough analysis potentially for um, that volume to show you the differences of, I should show you the savings that are offered um, via UPS or FedEx um, that could shift to post office potentially. Um, and the other thing I do like to mention here is they do offer um, commercial plus pricing is what our customers are put on. Um, there is no volume or revenue commitments. That's a big point. Um, if you were to go out, say, to post office and try to negotiate your own contract, there would be a volume or term agreement that you'd have to sign off on. With us, you can ship as low as one package a day all the way up to unlimited volume, and you would get that same discount uh, being provided to you. Where is this post office? What do we look for? Because we're talking e-commerce today, a lot of the parcels you might be shipping are lightweight in size or small dimensions. So that's really where you know, post office could potentially win for you on the domestic side. So under 20 pounds is our focus point. Um, going to zones one through four, zones five through eight might be um, higher um, you know, cost, but we, we could still compare those. But really those closer zones uh, under 20 pounds is the ideal parcel. Um, package we're looking for, and then as well as the cubic and dimensional weight, um, if anything is under 0.5, it would qualify for a cubic discount with the specific program we're looking to put you on. Everyone is used to seeing these surcharges that uh, carriers such as UPS or FedEx offer. Um, so a lot of folks get, you know, concerned over a base rate, uh, whereas, you know, a lot of folks lose sight of the additional surcharges that it might be applicable. When we're talking e-commerce, most of you might be shipping B2C, in which basically we have uh, surcharges such as a residential delivery apply, a delivery area surcharge might apply. Those two fees alone could equate to potentially seven or eight dollars of the total charge that you would see from a carrier like a FedEx or UPS. So we're trying to get the word out that if you do have those lightweight, low value shipments, post office might be a great option to look at when it comes to the total bottom line price because these fees do not apply to the post office, whereas they do to your major carriers. This is just an example, a good illustration of what we're talking about when it comes to dimensional weight. Um, I spoke about this in past webinars, but it's very important, especially a lot of folks using bigger type of packaging these days. Um, but if we have this example of this teddy bear being shipped across country, um, you can see here the differences that you could be uh, the savings you could be afforded if you took advantage of our discounted rates through Starship. So you can see here, this would, wouldn't dimensionalize out um, with FedEx and UPS, it dimensionalizes out to six or five pounds respectively. Um, and the total charge for post office would be 997, 
whereas it would, you know, UPS would be 1717 and FedEx at 1804. So again, when you look at the total charge, um, it's significant to take those additional surcharges into consideration when you're looking at your total cost. And off to the demo. So as I mentioned, we're going to start um, over, and I'm going to use Shopify as one of our example um, shopping carts that are available today as the example in, in today's webinar. Um, but if you do use a different shopping cart, please reach out and we can set up a specific demo for your uh, specific cart and show you how that would work. But really the workflow is ideally the same in all the shopping carts that we have available. So in this situation, I've created a simple order of two items. Um, I've created my order. I basically selected my service as priority mail um, for the specific um, uh, shipment. And I'll come back to this at the end and show you how we updated um, this here as well. In QuickBooks, so when we talk about extension, um, we want to talk about how do you get your um, e-commerce orders into QuickBooks. So there's a couple different ways. You can manually get those in and have someone sit there and manually type those in, but there are other services out there that can help automate that process. Starship would not do that process for you. Um, we don't have the ability to get your e-commerce to QuickBooks, or your e-commerce orders into QuickBooks, so you would have to find an alternative way to automate that process for yourself. However, when they are in here, um, and we locate that order here for you that we're working with, you can notice this is the order how it would look. So it would come in with those two specific items, that puck and that t-shirt, um, along with its appropriate cost. We've marked the ship via as USPS, and we pretty much put the e-commerce information in here as well. So this is very important that we map these fields um, specifically to what you have in your QuickBooks environment. So the order number from Shopify, along with the e-commerce name, and then also the line items we've selected all to reflect that to be part of the shipment. So when I bring up Starship here, it's a simple way, and this is, would be basically your interface that you would be working with. So again, as I mentioned, WorldShip and FedEx Ship Manager, all those platforms go away, and now we have everything loaded into our Starship application. So by doing that, I have basically, I would pull in my order number a couple different ways. So I can type in my order number from QuickBooks here, um, or I can use a wedge type scanner if I have it barcoded, my pick ticket or my packing list, and I can pull in the order information, or I can simply look up the order information by using my lookup window, finding the order I wanna work with, <clears throat> loading that document, and bringing in that sales order. Now also, too, we do work with invoices in QuickBooks. So if you're using the sales invoice, that's also going to be the same workflow as you're about to see here as well. So a couple things. We brought in your ship via information as priority mail, billing your account, and along with the estimated time of arrival for that shipment to your customer. The sender will always default to you unless if we have that mapped for a drop shipment scenario to make it be looking like it's coming from a different uh, partner of yours. Um, we can do that as well, and we can map that to potentially a bill to information if you wanted to, uh, to do that out of QuickBooks. And then you have your recipient information of who you're shipping the information to. And we've also done an address validation <coughs> behind the scenes. Um, that's what this green checkbox represents. And also checking to make sure it's a residential versus commercial location to make sure you don't have those um, fees apply in the, in the future. As I mentioned, one of the key features of Starship is the line items. So you noticed both those line items from QuickBooks um, that came over. Um, so we allow you to pack this how you see fit. We can default it just like we did here to come into a, a one package. Your shipper, your warehouse personnel can come in here and add a box if they choose to do so. And by simply just clicking on this icon here and adding a box, we can move things by dragging and dropping. So I can take these items and basically move them into different boxes if I wanted to, or I can basically set up what we call the packing scenario and which allows you to define an item to a specific package type. And that way when we import it, it would show up um, in that situation. So you'll notice I'm on the line item view here. The line item view is just basically all the standard mappings that are gonna come during the normal implementation. So everything is coming from QuickBooks, how we mapped it. So your item number is your QuickBooks item number. Your description comes from QuickBooks along with your weights and your values as well. So all of this we've mapped over. Um, and then if you are shipping LTL or hazardous material, 
um, we could also store that information in Starship as well, as we do store all of your inventory um, from QuickBooks as you bring the items into it. So the other key feature we talked about was the rate shop. So it's automatically going to default to priority mail. That's how I brought the order in. However, if you're curious to see, is this my lowest available rate or does UPS or FedEx um, have a lower rate for me to utilize? You can simply hit shop all. And as long as they're a part of your license and you've purchased those modules, these will be reflected here in the rate shop section. So you can see here, as this all comes in, we're pinging each carrier's API to pull in your negotiated rates here. So as this loads, um, you'll be able to see from not only your least expensive, but also your quickest delivery time as well. So this is sorted lowest to highest for me to, you, to look at. Um, so you'll notice my priority mail rate is one of the lowest. I do have media mail here, but if I wanted to use priority mail um, versus UPS ground, you can see the significant savings I can be receiving um, by utilizing the priority mail service over ground. But if I wanted to use UPS for any reason, um, I can simply click the box here and that would be automatically reflected. And now it shows here my UPS ground as being um, the service I'm gonna utilize. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to post office to make this simple. So <clears throat> again, as we talk about you know, rate shopping, the other thing we can do in here, if you don't want anything written back as far as freight cost, we can allow that to just write back tracking into QuickBooks. If you have like free shipping or if you have some other um, value that you use, if you're looking for uh, free shipping over a certain value ordered, we have something called a freight rule, which we can enable. Um, so that way that's automatically done and nobody in the front office has to go in after the fact and update each single sales order or sales invoice. So once we're ready to process the shipment, we can hit F5 or the icon above here. This will basically go out, let post office know you have a package ready to be uh, picked up, but also it's gonna print out what we call our smart label. Our smart label will be printing, and then that will be sent off to the printer so you can take advantage and see what that looks like. So again, once we've printed that label, um, we now can go back into QuickBooks and view what that order looks like. And you'll notice here that tracking was put back on that sales order along with the appropriate service and along with the freight cost um, for that particular shipment. If I pull up my Shopify order and I just refresh this order quickly, you'll notice what's happened here is we marked this order as fulfilled and now we've put back the priority mail along with the appropriate tracking number, the same from QuickBooks um, that came from Starship. So that's all been updated as well. And now you're off and running and you can you know, pretty much you know, send out your notifications to your customer um, from our uh, email notification tool that we have through Starship as well. So speaking of which, a couple last things I have here. Um, so when we talk about e-notifications, um, e what you will get with your shipping license or your Starship license is the um, uh, e-notify tool. This allows you to basically batch or send these out every shipment that you have. You'll notice here, this is the example that we just created. Um, so I can put something as simple as my company logo. I can tell them exactly what was shipped, um, the, how many they ordered, how many were shipped, and then along with the tracking number, and the tracking number here is a hyperlink out to the specific carrier so the customer can track their own orders and not bother you for um, you know, your customer service team to track their orders for them. Um, and then also you can utilize this tool as a marketing tool to put a little brief passage in here about come visit our website and put in this coupon code for future discount um, if you wanted to do that. But we give you the full uh, designer tool here to allow you to make, and make this look and feel how you want to. So that way you can send the appropriate message to your customer. So with that being said, um, I believe that concludes sort of the workflow that I wanted to get through today. Um, we do have about 10 minutes or so for questions. Um, so I will um, open up the line here for questions. And if you wanna, again, answer 